Hey guys, back again with another video. So, as I'm going through my back catalog of games, I came across this, Final Fantasy Type-0. And I realized I never finished this game. And I actually liked it a lot. Now, I do most of my gaming on my Nintendo Switch, or on my cell phone, through emulation. But that's a story for another time. But I do most of my gaming on the Nintendo Switch. And I came across an idea. How amazing would it be if Square put Final Fantasy Type-0 HD on the Nintendo Switch? Considering this game was on the Sony PSP, I'm pretty sure it would fit on the Nintendo Switch just fine. Now, I understand not everybody really liked this game. And we do have a problem with companies just dumping old games on the Nintendo Switch and charging what they like to call the Switch tax. But I would gladly pay for this game. Considering the most recent Final Fantasy we have on the Nintendo Switch would be Final Fantasy 15 Pocket Edition. Man, come on. No. No. Absolutely not. Now don't get me wrong. I do like to play the classics. But since I've gotten a taste of an action RPG version of Final Fantasy, I don't think I could ever go back. I absolutely love it. Oddly enough, I actually got my taste of it with Final Fantasy 15. I got that first and loved that so much as I'm looking at videos on YouTube about Final Fantasy lore because I wanted to learn more about the lore. I came across a video about this game and I was like, hey, that's interesting. So one day while in GameStop, I came across it. It was $10. So I'm like, eh, I pick it up, give it a chance. And I actually liked it. A little grindy. Wasn't a fan of that, but hey. Nothing's ever perfect. But this game was fun. Imagine if they put Final Fantasy Type-0 HD on the Switch. It sold well. And then they decided to come out with a direct sequel. Final Fantasy Type-1 terrible name I know I actually chuckled a little bit to myself but anything Square knows that a good JRPG will sell on the Nintendo Switch look at Octopath Traveler now I know that was a classic turn based RPG but I'm just saying Square knows what the Nintendo Switch can do for franchise. And just look at this opening video. It's crazy. It's fun. Then it killed the dragon. It's a fun game. And I'm very much aware of its shortcomings, but it's a fun game. And I feel the HD version of Type-0 would be the closest thing we'll ever get to Final Fantasy 15, 16, or the Final Fantasy 7 remake as far as gameplay. They could tweak it to make it more like those games, but what I'm saying is it's not turn-based. I really wish this game was on the Switch. And the funny thing about it is, I actually went on the eShop and searched for it. Because I'm like, there's no way they didn't put this on the Switch. I mean, Square had this on everything. Now, I'm actually looking for a version of it on PSP just so I could have a portable version. I can't find it. The 
this is nice. Just look at that. Come on, Square. What are you doing? What are you doing? I'm going to say this again. What are you doing? It's a no-brainer. And you would have to do minimal work to this game to make it a valuable addition to the Switch library. I just feel like Square is actually leaving money on the table. This is one of those shut up and take my money moments. Here I am with my money and literally can't tell Square to shut up and take it. Sad. My favorite character was Ace, but I'm throwing up with game cards like Gambit. X-Men vibes all the way. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed what you just saw, please like, follow, and share.